Hi there. You're watching Brain Shatter. That's juicy. I'm Lila, I'm 23, and this is my ride. Lila's 1998 Plymouth Voyager swapped for a 1999 Dodge Caravan. This was ride number 61 from season five of of 72 cars total, and it has arguably become the most famous Pimp My Ride car. This is a quick catch up to its past, recent history, and possibly its future. I drive a 1998 Plymouth Grand Voyager Expresso minivan. <laughs> Mom van. Could be the best day of my life. I don't know what Exhibit's gonna do with my car, but I'm excited, because it's gonna be awesome, I know. <laughs> Side swipe, side swipe! Oh my god! Oh my god! She has to be in the house by 11.30 at 12 o'clock. How old is this girl? 23. <laughs> a room box. It'll be able to sound like a Ferrari, an Austin Martin, a Saline S7, or anything she wants. I'm painting this thing jet black with flames on the sides and skulls everywhere. For a girl? Hell no. Yeah. I changed my mind. You know what's gonna look good on this van? Pink and purple. Everyone, say hello to the Vroom Box. And play out of this speaker box. We're gonna blast it through four sixes, two tens, and a thousand watt amp. Last but not least, I need to mount the control panel into the dash. Look at all these cars. Let's see what this thing could do. A second, what did that just say on the screen? Does anyone know what a mad mic sounds like? Ah, let's check out the Ford GT. Sweet, I'm driving the Ford GT. Check out your brand new ride. That's the most fun you can have in the back seat without getting naked. <laughs> Shortly, but not immediately after, the van got listed for sale. Then it, like many of the other Pimp My Ride cars, it sold and it disappeared out into the ether, only to show up on several Craigslist ads a decade or so later around Rhode Island and Boston area. A far away from Los Angeles, California, and it was in a mechanic's lot. It ended up going for sale and slowly dropping down in price till it got to about 850 bucks. Uh, Jalopnik and a couple other places did articles on it and Tavarish bought it and had it towed to him in Florida and then the videos began. So many, many videos. I bought a van. I bought a minivan for next to nothing and it's been abandoned for almost four years. I bought a van, regular minivan, except for the fact that it was on a little TV show called Pimp My Ride. 
So if we're talking about Pimp My Ride, there were a lot of exposés over the years about like the truth about Pimp My Ride. They actually did do all the work to these cars and they, they worked their butts off to get these cars out in time. I mean, you're talking about six seasons and 20 episodes each. So my van actually had this one modification called a Vroom Box. They took that out. So now underneath the car where the spare tire used to be, there is just nothing. Yes! Yes! <laughs> oh, everything works in this van! Then it was off to Hoovies in Kansas to be gifted as a Christmas present. Uh, they met another car YouTuber along the way, Ed Bullion of VinWiki. My friend, Ed Bullion, Mr. VinWiki. This van is, is fa it is the most famous 1999 Dodge Caravan without, in the world. Without question. Would you like to see some of its features? Uh, does it have some quirks as well? It does have some quirks, but I think I'm going to get demonetized if I use that too much. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? I am Santa Varsh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> How you doing, dude? Great. Well, your day is about to get a lot better. Mm. <laughs> you see it in the reflection, don't you? I do see it in the reflection. <laughs> oh my. So this is the minivan from Pimp My Ride, and today... We're going to review it. Oh, the quirks. And we're off to the Midwest Dream Car Collection in Manhattan, Kansas for a year. On today's episode of Watch JR Go, I drive other people's hoopties. You have been, wait, you have, there, you've been <laughs> pimped. All right, there's our monitor. Well, here it is, the famous Pimp My Ride van. <laughs> so ridiculous. The denim interior, the bead making station, a TV footrest, just absolutely crazy. And I had no idea what to do with it once Freddie gave it to me, so I decided, well, let's just put it in a museum for a while. So, and now my plea. I would love to own this van, but I don't have any cash to buy it. It would be perfect with my 99 Dodge Neon I've had for over 22 years and my wife's Volkswagen thing from Pimp My Ride. So please do me a favor, reach out to Hoovy and ask him to consider donating it to me and I'll give him a shout, shout out and channel plug with every video that I make with it. Now it's coming home and I don't know, what should I do with it? You should give it to Brain Shatterer. I don't have a title for it, so it'll be sold on a bill of sale, but this is a real Pimp My Ride car. Number one trending on YouTube, Tavares restoring it. Uh, it's mostly sat in here. I guess price would be $10,000 if, if you want it. Uh now, usually in these builds, I take these cars to the track to see what they're made of. Unfortunately, this is a van, so vans don't usually do any track things. No excuse, Tavares. If I had this van, I'd take it to the track. And even if I couldn't beat anything, that's what an SRT4 swap is for. Could you imagine the shame and humiliation of being beat by a driver in a purple and pink minivan? You would be done with your racing career. So there is another YouTube channel called Boost and Bad Habits here on YouTube. And they have uh, several projects going, but one of them is a SRT4 engine and transmission swapped into a Dodge Caravan. And they are also here in Tennessee. So if Hoovy's willing to hook me up with the van, uh, I'd be willing to do a collaboration with them. Maybe they can help me get that thing boosted up and then it'll rip or run down the train, down the uh, racetrack. So it's all depending on you. Reach out to Hoovy and let him know that I'm a, a viable suggestion. Thank you. Don't build race cars, they're stupid. Hi guys. <laughs> Hey, my ride van, that's Stubby Soul. My main focus on this channel is the cars more than the contestants, but I do look forward to hopefully being able to one day meet with them and have a, at least getting a short statement from them on their experience. Uh, Lila has gone on to found, found several anti-trafficking movements to defund porn sites that fund themselves off of the illegal practices. 
I would love to speak with her on her car and with her work. Uh, let me know if you'd like to see a video on what I know about her in the comment section. If you or someone you know was on Pimp My Ride, any of the versions, please ask them to contact me at brainshatter at gmail.com. If you have seen one of the cars in the wild and have photos and are willing to share, I will give credit to you and thank you if I use them. Thank you. So the future of this channel will depend on my help from supporters and such. Um, so if you like my videos, I know they're not the greatest, but if you like them and you want more, I've got lots more info to share. Um, but if you could like, share, subscribe, send to your friends and push it around, uh, maybe we can get more of my correct info out as opposed to just the consistent regurgitation of the Huffington Post articles over and over and over again. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Bet you won't touch that button. Check it out.